First and foremost, obviously, uh, the group of boys is a great set of lads. Um, and yeah, we, obviously, from the two games I've played, looks like we've got a, a good team here and definitely something where we, we can achieve something this season. Yeah, definitely. I think obviously as a defender you pride yourselves on keeping the ball out of the back of the net and keeping clean sheets. So to get two clean sheets in the first two games is obviously a good start, but like you say, it is only the start and it's something to build on and go from there with. Did the manager tried to sign you before he did? Um, yeah, I think in the, in the summer, I think, yeah, there was obviously um, a few teams up here that wanted to take me, but the time it didn't really seem seem the right time to do it, but with the next window coming along and the way things went at my old club, I just felt that it was an opportunity I, would, I was desperate to take. Um, I made a lot of changes in the summer. My old guys at Peter Hartley have come up as well. There a few guys that you know you played with before? Yeah, I was just saying there that obviously a lot of the boys that are in the changing rooms, a couple I've played with and the majority I've played um, against down south, so straight away you've got that sort of... Uh, affinity with them, that sort of um, bond that you know you've played against them and you know what they're all about. So yeah, it's good that you you already know the boys um, from being on the pitch. How did you find your last, the previous experience of Scottish football at Inverness? Uh, it's, I'd probably consider myself a real young young lad there. As a centre-half at 19, 20, you're still learning the game and probably a student in the game. So I would... I, it was a good experience, one from I learned from. However, it was something that I would consider myself just still learning the game. Um, so, in consideration to where I am now and the experience that I've had now, I'm probably a different person and a, a player. Was that a, a difficult experience at times, just because you were so young? It was. A... Um, well, first of, I was a long way from home, <laughs> um, so that that was one thing. But no, like like I said, I've learned a lot from, since then. Played probably touching near 300 games since then so I'm definitely a lot more experienced and m much more ready to, to, to come up here now than I was then. What is your aims when you, when you're going to be here? Well, um, obviously initially just small aims are to, to, like we've done already, keep clean sheets and, and make an impact on the team. Um, I think here we've got a very good team and one that can definitely push the top six and, and further beyond that. We're obviously still in the cup competition as well which already been to a cup final would be a, another good aim to, to do it again. So yeah, just obviously small steps initially, but I do think we've got the potential to, to, to be a really strong team in the league. The, the way the defence is, is looking as well, Peter Hartley coming back this weekend, there's, there's real competition for, for this, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's what you want though. If you're going to be a successful team, you want competition for places and you and you want people pushing each other. and. Um, and yeah, I think that's that's the, the the strong foundation of any good team. You're against the Hearts team that have not conceded a goal. I think it's about eight games now as well. Is that a real challenge for you on Saturday? Yeah, um, definitely. I mean, uh, they're obviously strong defensively, but hopefully we can we've we've looked at threat going forward already in the games I've been here. So hopefully we can we can cause them problems and and uh, and, and score goals because ultimately that's what we need to do to win the game. Come up to Scotland and it's game sticking fast Wednesday, Saturday. Yeah. Think your time in England's going to bed you nicely for this busy schedule? Yeah, to be fair, like the boys seem a bit like shocked by it, but for me, it's it's the norm really. In in England, it's Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, and it's the regular thing. Do you know what I mean? So, so it's it's nothing different to to myself or my body's not used to. So yeah, just embracing it really.